Right, I really hope that this is recording in real time. Because I'm a complete numpty, I can't even find where to plug this in. Can't find an all for it. And because of having to keep it um, plugged into the mains because I'm terrified of the battery dying on me and losing because I've done this so many times, I think I'm losing my mind. Um, I accidentally flipped this mat thing that I'm using, place mat, so it'll dry quicker, flipped it over into the paint and, well, wrecked it to say the least. Um, I'm trying to speak up, I'm trying to aim my voice at the camera but it is quite a way away from me. This <laughs> is just doing my head in. I'm just going to have to do it the best way that I can. So, you never know. Sometimes things happen for a reason. Oh, I'm just sprinkling, there's still some white brush on there. Uh, but why I'm so desperate to get this done now is that Mick's having to go away for work again. Um, right when I'm going to need. So I'm trying to get this done. In time. Um, for him to sort it out before he goes, which is like in a few hours. I can't see me doing it. And I can't see him being back in time to... Sorry, I can't see him back in time to do it for me. I'm sorry if I'm snivelly, but I've got the dreaded lurger. It's not pleasant. It's looking like it's going to be a lot pinker than I actually wanted it to be. <laughs> oh. Well, now it is. This is um, a nasal medicator thing. I can't remember what the stuff's actually called that comes in it. But it sends out some big blobs but quite a fine spray. Right. Um, I invented this a bit back, well, invented it with ease, I don't know, you know, if anybody else has done it, I'm not sure. Um, I'm sure somebody must have done something similar. This moth, uh, American Moon Moth, I really like them really really like them. Um, I've never seen a stamp with one and even if I did I'd, I don't know if I'd get it because how many times can you use the same set of stamp you know when you just um, not a card maker or something I just can't warrant it so this butterfly here I'm going to attempt again <laughs> I've done it successfully several times but not successfully on camera. Um, it's been a complete mix up because this is one of the things that um, I tried to do stamp block while Mick was away. So it's not going to be from banging. 
Heel goed van. Uh, it's a bit overkill is this small, but we'll have to do for now. So, it's this one. And I'm using half airbrush medium. And no, I'm not. I'm not actually sorry. I'm using airbrush medium. It's Liquitex airbrush medium. Um, sorry, I'm sort of half rushing and half panicking and hoping that this goes right. I'm basically just going to use the bit of paint that's left on me stick from doodling them out. And I'll do it on the mat actually because that'll be a lot easier. And there's my stamping pad, is that right? If I do it there I can get it over there pretty quick. Right, you've got to do it pretty quick because you don't want it drying on your stamp obviously. But the point of doing this is to make it a pale colour so the veins in the butterfly using the airbrush medium the veins in the butterfly will stay roughly the moth sorry um, the colour that you use here so if you want them dark dark veins then do it dark if you want them light do it light see to the side can't you? So I'm just good idea to shake it and fill it full of bubbles. Hmm. Right. Oh, I don't want it very dark, that looks about right. I hope. And you want to put it on without making too much bu bubbles on your stamp. But this, uh, it may be too pale. I might end up with that problem again of you not being able to see it, which was what, why one of these failed miserably. I filmed it all took a long time and um, because I don't know how to look at what's on um, when I uploaded it to YouTube for Mick to sort out while he was in America uh, I realised I couldn't see a thing <laughs> so I've got quite a few of these hanging around Please work. Right, you need a bit to glue it onto. Um, to 
to sort of hold it where's my matte medium so, to hold it in place while you're just readjusting and you also need a bit for its head and its bottom um, but you can't really sort them out until you've sorted out the position of the wings and you won't see this bit this is just so you know you've got something to hold on to when So it's not so difficult. Where's my tweezers? Oh, there we go. I wouldn't go all around the edges at all. Um, you're going to be moving it around a bit, but where the top wing goes over the bottom. I wouldn't put glue there because you want to shade underneath it a little bit, make it look more. You'll see what I mean. It doesn't matter if it's slightly out because you're either going to use what I found is best is um, clear gesso but if you haven't got clear gesso just anything that will build a little bit of bulk up um, that will accept paint if you're using watercolour um, the moth is very furry around its this bit. I've got it right way around. I don't think I have. I think it's that way around. It needs trimming even more. A little bit too small is better than a little bit too big because no oh, scooter. As I say, the clear gesso um, gives it a fuzzy sort of texture, um, makes it look a bit more like. That's better. Like fur, which they sort of have. Fill that gap with some gesso. Anything that will accept the watercolour if you're doing it in watercolour and that will build up a little bit of bulk <laughs> 